Reintroduced Tesla Model 3 LRAWD We all knew that the reintroduction of the Tesla Model 3 long-range all-wheel drive, LRAWD, in the United States was coming, but this is not what we expected. The company closed its order books for the Tesla Model 3 LRAWD in August 2022. Explaining the move by claiming demand was too high long waiting queue and promising that it will return at some point in 2023. The model reappeared today, but what we see is very confusing. The new Tesla Model 3 LRAWD starts at $47,240 plus destination charge, offers 325 miles of range, a top speed of 145 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 4.2 seconds. Below, we will step by step examine why those numbers are strange in our opinion. Driving range. The new Tesla Model 3 LRAWD has a lower range than the previously retired version. Its range numbers are different than the official 2023 EPA numbers, which indicate that this is a completely different version which was not even rated yet. Tesla says that the range is estimated, rather than EPA estimated. New Tesla Model 3 LRAWD 18-inch 325 miles 523 kilometers 33 miles or 9.2% less than the retired 2022 model year version 358 miles. New Tesla Model 3 LRAWD 19 inch. 310 miles 499 kilometers 24 miles or 7.2% less than the retired 2022 model year version 334 miles. We don't know the exact EPA combined range of the new version it's expected to be at least 325 and 310 miles depending on the wheel size but something caused the noticeable decrease in range. The question is what and why? A lower battery capacity or a less efficient powertrain assuming the same battery capacity. Regardless of the reason, the new Model 3 LRAWD now has a similar range as the performance version 315 miles 507 kilometers which has bigger wheels 20 inch. That's strange. Not only that, the slightly bigger and heavier Tesla Model Y LRAWD has more range. Battery Mystery The next question then is the battery capacity and type chemistry-wise and form factor-wise. Because of the uncompromised performance 0.60 mph in 4.2 seconds and 145 mph top speed and weight of the vehicle 4,034 pounds, we thought that maybe it's equipped with the all-new Tesla's in-house 4680-type cylindrical battery cells. After all, the Tesla Model YAWD 4680 has a lower battery capacity and 15% less range than the LRAWD 2170 version 279 miles vs 330 miles. However, the car is not eligible for the full $7,500 federal tax credit, but only $3,750. It means that the car does not comply with one of the two requirements. 40% of the value of critical minerals need to be mined or processed in the United States or FTA countries, or recycled in North America. 50% of the value of battery components must be manufactured or assembled in North America. Most likely, those are not locally produced 4,680 type cylindrical battery cells. So maybe the battery cells are imported like in the case of the Tesla Model 3 RWD, powered by CATL's prismatic LFP battery cells? Here is a problem with this idea. The range is higher by at least 53 miles 85 kilometers which is 19.5% more than the 272 miles in the RWD. That's a substantial change. It would require some significantly improved LFP battery cells CATL's new Keylin type or something. Is it possible to fit additional LFP cells they have lower energy density than the NCANCM used previously in the LRAWD version?
Some, like Troy Teslike, already suggest that it's not possible because the Tesla Model 3 RWD was already fully packed with LFP cells. The conclusion then is superior LFP or a high nickel chemistry. The third option would be that the new Tesla Model 3 LRAWD is equipped with 2170 type battery cells NCANCM. From some other supplier rather than Panasonic Tesla Giga Nevada. And those cells are also imported or materials for them are imported. It would mean, by the way, that the Tesla Giga Nevada's battery production is insufficient and forced to use lower energy dense batteries from abroad. Here are the options. Old. 2170 type NCA from Panasonic Tesla Giga Nevada. New. 2170 type imported LFP imported 4680 type. Prices. Another confusing thing about the Tesla Model 3 LRAWD is its pricing, which combined with only a $3,750 federal tax credit, puts it in an awkward position against other Tesla models. The old version in 2022 was available for around $57,990 DST. The new one starts at $47,240, $1,640 of obligatory costs, which after deducting the federal tax credit is $45,130. That's a big positive because we are talking about a 25% or so cost decrease and a much faster delivery time estimated in June 2023 for new orders. However, because other Tesla cars are currently also less expensive, the question is how the new Model 3 LRAWD is supposed to compete internally with the performance version or the Tesla Model Y both eligible for $7,500 federal tax credit. Tesla accustomed us to various price changes, but we have not seen anything like that. One can simply order a Model Y LRAWD with 330 miles of range for effectively $44,380 more car for a similar cost and potentially a higher price when selling it after some time. Confusion is the right word for today. We guess that all those things are probably just temporary and there will be changes applied in the not too distant future. Maybe prices will change. Maybe the supply chain deal will change to get the full $7,500, or there will be changes to the Model Y source. Reposted and summarized from Mark Kane at Inside EVS.